So this is a nice way. Fuck off. <laughs> See, man. What's up guys, Lewis back with another video and today I'm going to be editing your raw files that you emailed over to me after I put up an Instagram story saying I was going to do this video and yo I got a lot of pictures man, <laughs> I got so many but it just means that if I don't edit your photo today it's going to be in the next episode that I do because if this takes off and does really well, even if it doesn't I'll just do another one anyway because there's a lot of fire photographers out here man, yo, <laughs> it's going to be sick. Now I'm not the best photographer in the world and this is not a video showing how they should be edited, it's just a nice video to showcase other photographers from around the world from America to Japan and you just get to see what other photographers can do in terms of car photography within street as well so each picture that I do edit that you watch will only be about 30 seconds I'm not gonna drag the video on it just needs to be this is the before this is the edit it was this what it looks like afterwards and let's move on to the next one so I'm gonna try and bang out as many as we can so we've hit over 3,000 subscribers as of a couple days ago which is pretty sick so I appreciate everyone that's recently subscribed and enjoying the content as I said in my previous videos I am gonna stop rolling out more videos and then yeah let's keep it going so all the pictures I edit in the video if I've edited your photo it'll be down in a link in a Google Drive you can download the picture have a look at it and just yeah do what you want but you get to just see the edit and then you can have the photo back and I'm rambling so we should just get into Lightroom <laughs> oh wait I need to do a really cool transition where I just like vanish from the scene and then we go into Lightroom I'm just gonna do this <laughs> See, I did it. <laughs> okay, so the first shot we're gonna go for is Ronin Shots, and he's from Germany. So, pretty sick picture. So, here's gonna be the raw. I'm gonna throw on Black Panther from Autumn, my Autumn preset pack, and already that's pretty dope. I'm gonna bring down the texture, drop the shadows a bit, gonna increase a little bit of orange because we like the sun, add a bit more warmth to it. I wanna make sure that the red is pretty accurate. Straighten it up a little bit more. That's pretty much it. That's done. <laughs> Absolute sick shot. That raw is beautiful to work with but yeah that's pretty much done thanks for that one Ronin shots all the way from Germany on to the next okay so next we're on to Ben's cars and he sent me a Ferrari F50 which is sick and it's in black also he sent me Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR which is absolutely amazing the preset I've already got in mind is Bimmer Sunsets let's bring up the exposure a little bit I want to see more of the car a little bit too bluish I can see blues to the tone curve let's drop those shadows a little bit bring a bit more color into that sunset let's really bring out the oranges and make the sky look a bit more moody straighten out a little bit and I'm pretty happy with that so before after yeah, nice one, Ben. Appreciate that. I edited your other picture as well. So the before and after, because the CLK needed a nice little edit. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, nice one, Ben. That's sick. Next, we've got Kilby Media. Absolute sick photographer from the UK as well. He sent me two pictures of this GT86 with a pandemic kit on, which is absolute, absolute madness. For this one, we're going to throw on blue balls. <laughs> I love the names that I give my presets. And we're going to bring the exposure down a little bit. We don't want to over expose the car too much. We're going to bring drop the highlights, put some more detail into the uh, into the sky. For this one, I think I'm going to drop the texture and the clarity, bit of a softer picture. Pop the shadows a bit more from the tone curve. Obviously, focus on bringing out those yellows. Bring a mask down in the sky, and let's bring those colors out a bit more. We're going to drop the highlights in the sky. We're going to boost some temperature into that as well. We're just going to bring that in a little bit so we can't see the vignette in at the top. We're going to soften up the picture by bringing a bit more noise reduction. And there we go. So before and after, sick raw to work with. Nice one for that kill beat. Yeah, you need to do more shots of that. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm making it go dark, you just press L on the keyboard as a shortcut and it just dims it once. Then you press it again, dims it again. So I edited the other picture as well, the rear shocks, it looks sick. Then there's before and after. Pretty happy with that one. Yeah, the raw was amazing to work with. Yeah, again, nice shots. Okay, so next we've got Through Films or Ali from London. Absolute sick photographer. If you know who Through Films is, you know. <laughs> so he sent me four pictures. I'm gonna edit the R8 and then I'm gonna show the edits on the other three pictures afterwards so it's a bit quicker. Yeah man, I've been excited to edit these, so let's start with this one. So we're gonna go for front heavy, and for this one I know for a fact that aquas need changing. There we go, aquas back up. Let's make that car pop. We don't wanna oversaturate the wheels too much. There should be a lot of people watching this and knows who that know whose car this is. It's Andrew from London or Lit Yeah. I'm gonna add a bit more contrast, let's bring that contrast back up. We want it nice and detailed. I'm gonna drop the highlights just in the clouds. Really lift those shadows up, maybe bring the exposure up a tiny bit. Such a nice image. Yeah, that was a sick shot. 
So I'm gonna show you the other three edits now. Here's the edit I did of the Honda S2000 in yellow. Madness of a car, look at that, <laughs> looks sick. This is obviously shot in America as well. We don't have roads like this in the UK <laughs> or spots, that looks mad. Here's the edit I did of the McLaren, so before and after. Man, Ali, you take some mad shots, bro. <laughs> Yo. So here's the edit I did of the BMW shot, which is the fourth shot. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. And yo, once again, Ali is an absolute sick photographer and I'm pretty sure he misses America right now. Yeah, sick, nice one. Okay, moving on. So next we've got a my.hi, I hope I'm saying that right. I'll throw his Instagram on the screen, but I think his real name's Reloy, so that's what I've got the file saved as. For this one, we're gonna go for front heavy. Already that's pretty dope, I'm really happy with that preset. Center it, center the car. Always make sure you center your cars when you're editing. This picture already is so dope to work with, so I'm really gonna lift the shadows, bring the highlights down, add a bit more contrast. Drop the oranges a little bit, luminance, just to bring a bit more detail into the sky. I need to go Hawaii, man. <laughs> he actually sent me three pictures, so I'm gonna show you the other two as well afterwards. There we go, there's the before and after. Here's the second shot he sent me. Man, what a location to do a roller, sick. Here's the third image, before and after as well. Really nice sunset, man, look at the location. Man, Hawaii's got some spots, woo. Yeah, thank you for those pictures. Moving on to the next photographer. So next we've got the Auto Visual, another sick photographer from the UK, and he sent me this picture of Strange Automotive's uh, Range Rover, nice smoke bomb. We're gonna edit this one from scratch as well. He's recently just started a YouTube, a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna throw it up on the screen as well. Is bring the temperature down a little bit. I want a nice, cool tone to this. Add a bit of contrast. Bring up the highlights, bring down the shadows, bit of clarity, drop down the texture slightly. So we're gonna bring up the vibrance, drop down the saturation. So we're actually gonna drop the orange out of the picture, slightly crop that in. Mask on the floor, darken the floor up. Mask on the sky as well, bring the highlights down, Just darken it up a little bit, put the focus more on the car. We're gonna put a radial around the car as well. So we're gonna bring up the shadows, slightly bring down the highlights, not to blow out the headlights too much. Taking the hue of the blue, slightly purple. Bring up the aqua and the greens, make it stand out a tiny bit more. Drop the purples that we can see in the headlights. Add a bluish green into the mid-tones, which kind of brings it out a little bit more. Adds to the vibe of the picture. More of like a Halloween picture with all the smoke. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. There's a before and after. Yeah, nice picture. Thanks for that one. Moving on. So this one's coming from Japan, Aterio Ryu. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Absolutely mad picture of this BRZ or 86, or it could be an FRS, all the same. But yeah, this is mad. Look at the dish, man. <laughs> that is incredible. Japanese do it hard. So yeah, this shot's coming from Japan, and you can already tell with a background and a car like that. Using the 35mm um, Sigma Art Lens, Beast of a Lens, I got the 50mm. And for this one, we're gonna start with Blue Balls, because Blue Balls is smashing it today. <laughs> we're gonna bring the exposure down, cool the picture, make sure the purple's on point as well. So I believe the car's more of a purple, so let's shift it more purple to make it more accurate. Man, already that looks so dope. We're gonna keep the oranges up, because I really like how emphasizes the background as well and just like where it is to be fair there's not much else to really do here drop the highlights down so there's a before and after definitely enjoyed editing this so again thank you for that really appreciate the shot from japan doing it big out there moving on so this one's from shot by yardi all the way from switzerland already the raw is just sick anyway <laughs> you can see the carbon details which is pretty sick as well but again we're gonna go for blue balls because i was just smashing it today <laughs> bring the exposure down now we want to keep the red correct. We're just going to play around a little bit here because we want to match it as much as possible. Let's bring the saturation down. We don't want to overdo it. Because there's so much snow, there's not much colors to bring out. It'd be nice to play with these greens, but there we go, Switzerland for you. <laughs> Minor little changes after applying the preset. And there we go, before and after. Just made the red pop nicely using that 35mm 1.4. Everyone's got to, got to be on that Sigma. <laughs> I appreciate that one, Yardi. Here we've got A7 Killer, I believe it's from Brighton, and he's got this shot, I think it's a C63 AMG, it's definitely an AMG, or it might be the E63. Either way, AMG. <laughs> Front heavy. I'm gonna bring up the blues, try and get that paintwork back. Bring down the highlights, so we don't wanna kill the sky too much. Drop the texture, bring up the clarity, not too much, don't overdo it. So we're gonna bring the shot in, don't want all that dead space on the outside. We're gonna add a mask to the sky, to bring the highlights down. A bit more dehaze. I've not used this much dehaze in a long time. <laughs> We're gonna bring it so it's a bit more minty, just how I like it. There we go, that's more like it. There we go. This is a nice simple, nice simple grade. Yeah, nice shot, man. Appreciate that. So this next one's from DDIM Cars. 
We've got a pretty cool picture actually because you've got the McLaren F1 and then the newer McLaren in the background. So old versus new. <laughs> this one we're gonna go for landscape. I'm gonna add a different vibe to this one. I'm liking the detail in the sky. We're gonna try and keep that. And it looks a bit foggy and like misty over this side, which is pretty cool. Play with the greens, first of all, because it's a nice big field. Gonna bring the exposure down slightly. Lift the shadows on the tone curve. Let's drop the blacks to zero. Add a slight bit of noise reduction, soften the picture up. Don't, don't want to over sharpen it too much. Slightly bring it in a bit more. And to be fair, I'm pretty happy with that one. It's a nice soft edit. Mad. <laughs> McLaren makes crazy cars. Sweet. Next one. Now we're going to move on to the final picture of today's video. And we're going to do a set of four shots because he sent me a lot of pictures. This is Takao from Japan. He's in the Fortune uh, gang. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. <laughs> I'm going to show you the edit through the first one. And then I'll show you the rest of the pictures already edited. We'll just flick through them and end the video on a nice Japanese sort of vibe. So yeah, man, I've been looking forward to editing this guy's pictures because he's Sylvia. He owns this car and yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> if you're a JDM fan, which I know you, a lot of people watching are, you would love this Sylvia and the camera's nuts. <laughs> right, so I'm actually gonna start with a preset from the night pack. And we're just going to bring that down. We're going to bring the exposure back to normal. And then we're going to go from here. I can see a little bit of chromatic aberration with the purple. So let's bring the purple and the magenta down to get rid of it. Lens correction and you can enable remove chromatic aberration. And that should pretty much eliminate it. A nice Japanese shot. I'm actually going to make it quite crispy. We're going to bump the clarity to, yeah, let's stay 20. Keep it nice and crisp. Play with the sharpening. We don't want to sharpen it too much. Got to make sure I keep my Japanese fans nice and... Uh, hyped. <laughs> I'm going to lift the blacks a little bit, not too much. So already the image is pretty dope. I'm really happy. All I'm going to do is slightly bring the image down because there's a lot of concrete above. Let's just bring that car in a little bit more. Emphasize the fact that the car is bang in the middle. Man, I absolutely love this Sylvia, man. <laughs> this is sick. The red details in the interior, let's slightly bring those up so you can just see the red pop a little bit more. Make it really stand out. Yo, I'm happy with that. That's sick. <laughs> So a nice clean edit. To be fair, all that's happened is I've brought the exposure up, lifted the shadows, lifted a little bit of blacks. I'm in love with this car, man. <laughs> so let's quickly go through the other edits that I did for this. I mean, look at the camber. <laughs> that is nuts. Look at that. <laughs> Madness. So yeah, there's the before and after. The next one's a nice clean front shot, which I'm very happy with with the edit edit. Again, there's a before and after. Look at it, it sits perfect. So in the next one, you can see how crazy the rims are. Absolutely love. <laughs> and yeah, before and after, just lifted everything, made it really stand out, and that location is pretty cool. Every, anywhere in Japan just looks good for photos. <laughs> I can't wait to go there. So for this, I gave it a nice warm tone. So the before and after is there, but I wanted to make it feel as if it was a bit more of a sunset, evening sort of shot. So I warmed up the picture, and yeah, I'm really happy with that. I can't believe how nice these rolls are to work with. <laughs> and finally, the last picture, which I'm pretty happy with. Gave it a nice soft touch to it, dropped the texture, pretty much left the clarity and dehaze, everything else. Lifted the shadows and a little bit of the blacks, dropped the highlights. That's a, a banger to end on, I reckon. So before and after is there. But yeah, there's all the pictures and I'm just gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and just admire the, uh, the Sylvia. You, you lot can go now, go away. So there we are people, that's all the edits for today. I was gonna do more, but as I was editing and filming the video, I realized how long it was taking and I didn't wanna prolong the video too much. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. So if you saw me use a preset in the video today, every single one of them that I use is on, the, on my website, lewismorrismedia.com, so you can just go in there, go over to the shop, check those out, they're gonna help you. They're gonna give you a nice kickstart to your photography if you're quite new to it as well, even if you're not. I will be doing more episodes as well because I got a lot of submissions and I'm gonna try and get through all of them but I need to do this in episodes because I don't want to do like a 20 30 minute video because no one's gonna watch all that through maybe one or two people but it's just too long I'd rather just do it in episodes so thank you again for watching you can like and subscribe if you want to follow more content but like I said before the less we hate the more we create so let's go smash it see you in the next one